Well, December is usually a time for holiday cheer, but it has been difficult for many religious groups trying to worship this time of year. Cesar Rodriguez shows how one religious group is trying to overcome those obstacles. <laughs> it's going to be emotional. Alma Gonzalez chokes up as she talks about her family and how they taught the importance of faith. Raised by my grandmother, very devout um, Catholic and very devoted to Our Lady. Um, she um, showed me how to pray. It was her upbringing that motivated her to take part in the annual pilgrimage in Palm Springs, California. It was a miracle to finish it. The 34-mile walk in honor of the Virgin of Guadalupe, a patron saint of millions of Mexicans and Latinos, has brought together thousands in California for more than two decades. El amor del Padre y la comunión del Espíritu Santo. This year, organizers canceled their plans but adapted to the current conditions. I think the attitude that I've seen develop is we can't do everything the way we did it before, but we will do whatever we can to keep the spirit alive. And I, I really see that among the people. La expresión. The Mass in honor of the Virgin will be held with a limited number of parishioners while respecting social distancing guidelines. Also, the ceremony will be streamed live through their social media pages. That'll give people that are at home that can't come the opportunity to join in the prayer and, and be part of the community, even if it's virtual. And imagine all of our screens connecting to one another. Other religious groups are implementing the same approach. People's, you know, religious and spiritual uh, interests and needs continue unabated. In fact, in some ways, they're, uh, they're more necessary or, or more vibrant now because we are facing this uh, COVID virus and, and everything that comes in its, uh, in its wake. Jewish temples in Cleveland canceled their public Hanukkah events, but are using the web to stream their faith. The inability to gather in large groups, uh, of course, has for all religious groupings, has changed uh, our ability to gather and how we gather, if we gather at all. And of course, uh, so much worship is now being done on online platforms. For these groups, technology is helping overcome the hurdles of the pandemic. And it's not just them. The Roman Catholic Diocese of Phoenix shared this video that shows the live stream of their event. And she unites us, she calls us to prayer. As for Alma, COVID-19 won't stop her from worshiping during the holidays. She'll be praying from home with her loved ones. Do not let COVID overcome, um, overcome us with fear. Um, you know, let's continue with our faith and our prayer. I'm Cesar Rodriguez reporting.